pardon me if I happen to breathe on the microphone or something like that. I don't know what happened to my other microphone. I still haven't bought wind streams. And no, I don't see the need anymore in the digital age for me to go and buy a $500 or $1,200 microphone or even a video camera. Um, I'm not talking go and get a toy camera or a microphone or anything. Like that. I'm just saying that. So, what is this? Um, you've seen these before. This channel used to have a lot of these, actually. And this is the new way the the podcast that this actually all started off as is going to be broadcast. Um, these will be dual broadcast in the future on um, the VHS Tapes YouTube channel. Just letting you know. Um, that's my position on microphones. I would launch into a tirade about fair use and copyright trolling, but I'm actually working on that video right now, and that's going to address it. So the rest of... Um, the redoing of season two, three, and four will involve these kind of podcasts where I talk over video game footage. I don't know what the footage could be. Um, probably right now it's sports games because I have a whole stack of them in front of me and I've been playing those a lot, maybe because it's summer or something. I don't know. But your guess is as good as mine on what kind of footage I'll have. It could be anything. I'll be playing Doom or whatever. But I will not be playing Nintendo games. Nintendo... Um, I don't know how to put this. Like, I can put Mario 64, and I don't get, I don't get bothered by it from the copyright trade. I put Super Mario 3D World it's sequel in a way, and I, I get nothing but um, bothered by it. So I don't know. I don't know which way to go. I don't know how other YouTubers like World of Long Plays or um, Retro Core or Game History Source. I don't know how they put up with any of this stuff. I don't. Oh. To me, it's encoding over and over and over again, and it takes me a very long time to encode anything. Um, um, it's it's a trade-off. I can put it in lower, but very good resolution at a very good bit rate in, uh, in DV format. That's the format used by DV cams and digital eight cams. Or I can go ahead and I can I can put it up in an HD resolution and. I don't know, is that really, I mean, either way, I'm talking gigs. I might be saving five gigs or whatever. I mean, I could put in extremely low resolution. No matter what I do, it seems like the, the automated process at YouTube is broken. Anyways, I want to go ahead and start doing these so I can go around and start talking about gaming topics. Uh, I'm not really going to too many places for this podcast. I'm going to pretty much be going to, um, unless Phil is here, well, we'll also talk about movies uh, besides computer games and video games and stuff like that. Um, one thing I want to talk about is the, the absolute, with the exception of Nintendo Power and Sega Visions, people really don't address video game magazines. We have magazines published for us as a population, or was published for us, um, when I was a child, there was uh, Video Games and Computer Entertainment by Larry Flint. It was later rebranded Video Games as one word with what's called Camel Case, where the middle word is capitalized. One word, Video Games. And then there was um, Wizard, the comic book magazine, had a few blurbs on Video Games. Electronic Gaming Monthly, Game Pro, and um, Next Gen, Next Generation. Um... There might be, oh, in Game Fan, there might be one or two on the Sorry for that. And today, magazines are obviously dead. I have to go custom make here in Nintendo and Nintendo Force every month through there, um, the way they do funding and sales. And while I don't, I personally don't like it that way, there's no other way to do it. So, um, the other thing I want to address is this video that keeps getting flagged that a, now I have to reduce the quality um, to the point where it, it's a bad video. Please hit a thumbs down on it. People gave me thumbs up. I had a lot of views and I had to delete it this morning as of this recording. So I'm going to go to GameStop.com and I'm going to go through the news. I might peruse into three pages so we're not too far away. And I'd like to take an hour of your time 
Um, no more. Than, this is what I guarantee. No less than ten minutes. No more than two hours. And you know, really, I understand. Um, consider me more like a, a boring version of talk radio. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little background music. I might put, or I might put arcade sound effects. I'm not gonna have both. And um, either way, my goal here is to keep it somewhat entertaining for you all. Um, I won't have the sound effects from the game. And I'm, I'm right now, as of right now, Electronic Arts has been more than cooperative to me about letting me use footage. And so has um, um, WB Games. So I appreciate that from them at the moment. That doesn't mean that later they won't flag me or something like that. But right now they've been very cooperative and I appreciate that. So... Um, Without, oh shoot, I went to the wrong website. <laughs> oh, that's typical. Um, my equipment is is old and aging, but it's not dying. Apples don't die. Apples age. Windows computers die. I, I have a, I'm a near death. My e machines. If I mention this problem. So, um, quickly again, I want to address. This is what see the redone season two, three, four. Is pretty much going to be to fill in the gaps is going to be phony football. Um, all of those were previously on a um, different YouTube channel. Now they're coming back here, so it's going to be lots of phony football. I mean, lots of phony football to the point you're you're going to be sick of it, and I'm not going to blame you for being sick of it. And um, these kind of podcasts, where you can be sick of it as well, but at least here I own these. I own the content. It's just me talking. Hopefully it's going to be me and Phil talking, or me and other people talking. And um, as far as proper English goes, that is proper English. Bite me. All right. So let's see. We have Beyond Good and Evil 2 trademark. Don't care. Let's see. Mass Effect uh, Andromeda. Don't care. Let's see. Oculus will cover shipping costs. Oculus is dead. It will not take off. It will not become anything. I stand by behind that. You know, you, you you can disagree with me or whatever. I don't I don't really care. Um, virtual reality where I have to wear the goggles? No, it won't take off. There's a reason why 3D movies bomb while the 2D versions of those movies take off. I've never been in a 3D movie where the theater was crowded. Um, I went on opening day of a particular cartoon, big cartoon that opened in 3D. Not only was it $45 for the four of us to see this movie, the it wasn't even that good in 3D. We thought we were the only ones seeing it. I took a poke into the 2D version of this particular movie. Crowded. I played a little bit later than I Crowded. No, no cinema. I'm not going to mention the movie or anything. I don't want to go into the movie. Um, now, there's a lot of non-news stories here, so I'm just going to go ahead. Um, Final Fantasy 15. Well, I don't know. I'm not into the whole dress like I'm a homeless bum slut. I don't have any other way to put it. I don't care. Um, Final Fantasy has been proven to be a loser for quite some time. What's weird, though, is if they release any Final Fantasies between... Uh, Final Fantasy 1 through 7, it does very well on the reset. I mean, I'm not talking I'm not talking 20 million downloads or anything like that, but I'm talking a couple million downloads. Final Fantasy 7 on Steam proved this, even though I, I have the original computer version. Um, which, despite what people say about it, it and Final Fantasy 8 sold very well on computer. Final Fantasy, what happened was, starting with 7, Seven only sold because of the graphics, not the sto- the story stinks. The story is marks as garbage. It sold because of the graphics. At the time, nobody had seen graphics like that in gaming. I'm not even talking like on the 3DO or Jaguar or computer games or anything like that. Resident Evil, Final Fantasy Seven. This is was like an actual jump in technology. Mario 64, Tomb Raider, 
These were actual jumps in technology at the time of this came out. Uh, you can even throw the original GoldenEye in, in that area. You can throw it in on there. And Gran Turismo. These were games that actually went above what everyone was expecting these machines to do. So this is way back then. This is 19 years ago. Final Fantasy 15. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's not. I, I, I don't really care for it. The Final Fantasy thing. This is what Final Fantasy is supposed to be. Nine got this right. Final Fantasy is supposed to be chocobos, moogles, knights, dragons, Mages. They may call something a mage or whatever. No. It's crap. Uh, let's see. That's not gaming news. Uh, okay. About this April Fool's crap that's been going on for over almost 30 years now. Um, April Fool's means someone is foolish on the first day of April. It does not mean you go and be dishonest. That's breaking a commandment if you're religious. That shows a lack of integrity if you're an atheist. And I'm sorry, that's not what it's about. When, a, when an organization lies like that, it doesn't know. It, April Fool's is not about joking around. It's about <laughs> pointing out the foolishness of an individual. So. Let's see, we can keep going there. Nope, don't care, don't care, don't care. That is not video game news. Nope. No. No. I have to keep going now. No, no, no here because um, GameSpot really doesn't know what video game news anymore. GameSpot started off as an offshoot of um, Electronic Gaming Monthly. They had a video game site called videogames.com or videogaming.com and that was advertised in their magazine and somehow it became GameSpot which is now owned by CBS. Okay, Xbox One Electronic Arts Access adds a second backwards compatible Xbox 360 game. Now there are 18 games in the Electronic Arts Access free game Vault. Alright. Sounds good to me. Let's go to the next page. Go to the next page. Let's see what, what's my timer saying. Okay, so let me go to the next page. If it renders. Um, is it just me or Firefox is like getting slower and slower and slower? It's getting bloated. Is actually what's happening. It's got bit rot, code rot. Not bit rot. Bit rot's, bit rot's when you leave like a floppy disk completely protected. You come back to it. All the information is gone. Okay, major layoffs at Guitar Hero Live Developer after game underperformance. What can I tell you? That was a fad. That was 2007 or 2008, and uh, that was that. Don't know. Do you know, for the... Allegedly, Grand Theft Auto V was, like, supposedly one of the biggest selling games in the last few years. I don't know a single person who owns it. And I know a lot of people who own PS3s, 360s, Xbox Ones, and PS4s. That's combined. Those four combined. I actually know more people who own a Wii U, especially in my neighborhood, uh, than anything else. If it's such a big selling game, where where are these mythical people who own it? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't buy Rockstar's numbers. I think they're fake. All right. Let's see. Uh... Mega Man Legends 2 coming to PlayStation Network. Uh, the game's okay. Uh, Mitomo. Mitomo, that's um, the Nintendo smartphone app. What an annoying app. Um, seriously, it shares too much information. It's a little too personal. Um, it's, I don't know. It's like, okay, you know there's the Mi Plaza on 3DS, right? And, um, what did the Wii have? The Wii had, what was it called? Just I think it was just called the Mii Channel. The Mii Plaza Channel. But anyways, with the Mii Plaza on 3DS, it only shares what I want it to share. Mii Tomo seems to want to share everything. So if I add people, um, I'm going to get questioned by other people about who these people are. That, 
I don't care. And uh, it needs to, need to give me a little bit more privacy. Just a little bit more privacy here. Okay, Axiom Verge headed to the PlayStation Vita. Um, I guess if it's not going to 3DS, I'll buy the Vita version. Sega completes acquisition of Atlas. I'm just reading the website, folks. I'm not. If you want to go see? You gotta go see. Let's see here. Uh, this was already pointed out by other people. What the heck? Uh, Final Fantasy XI shuts down for good on Xbox 360, PS2. Final Fantasy XI is on Xbox 360. I have the computer version, but it won't let me reactivate. But really, is it on Xbox 360? Oh, if someone's out there who knows, send me an email. Please. All right. Jay and Silent Bob ga game is happening. All right. Don't really care. I don't like Kevin Smith. Um, it's funny because my critique of him, he totally agreed with many, many moons ago. Um, in his own independent way. I'm not saying we've met or anything. If we had, I wouldn't remember. I'm just saying that we saw that I critiqued him and he critiqued himself in the same way. I did it on an old blog that's long gone. Let's keep going here. No news, no news, no news, no news. Okay, so my Nintendo has is like a version of Club Nintendo, but worse. I'll take that for what it means. Next Xbox, Xbox, <laughs> Xbox One backwards compatible game arrives. Okay. All right. Uh, here's an article. I'm going to open this up. We're going to come back to it. WWE 2K16. Um, are people still buying these things? Because I saw Austin on the cover of a WWE game. So, well, there you go. I don't know what is this. What is this Doom? Is it called Doom Live? Doom? I don't know. Um, I played the original Doom. Let's leave it at that. The Lego Jurassic World comes to iOS and Android. I already swear this game is already on iOS and Android. All right, that's the three pages. I'm going there. We're gonna go ahead and read one article. Or I'm gonna read an article. We're not reading anything. We're listening to my own voice. And, uh, let's see what we have here. All right. Xbox One backwards compatible compatibility lineup. That was on March 31st, 2016. I'm going to read these all as quick as I can. So, wait, I'm going to read what I'm interested in. All right. Here we go. Age of Booty, Alien Hominid, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 2, Asteroids and Deluxe, Banjo-Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, Banjo-Tooie, Banjo-Kazooie, Bejeweled 2, Beyond the Good and Evil HD, Blood Warring, Betrayal, Borderlands, Braid, let's keep going here, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, Centipede and Millipede, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Crazy Taxi, let's keep going here. Kiss of Tron, Doom, Doom 2, Doritos Crash Course, Earthworm Gem HD, Fable 2, Fable 3, Fallout 3, Feeding Frenzy, Feeding Frenzy 2, Galaga, Geometry Wars, Retro Evolve, Golden Axe, Halo Reach, Halo Spartan Wars, Halo Wars, Mexic HD, Hydro Thunder, Iron Brigade, Cameo, King of Fighters 98, Lego Batman, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game, the Star Wars, the Complete Saga, Load Runner, Lumines Live, Mass Effect, Metal Slug 3, Metal Slug XX, Might Magic, Clash of Heroes, Mirror's Edge, Missile Command, Monkey Island SE, Monkey Island 2 SE, Miss Explosion Man, Ms. Pac-Man, N+, NBA Jam on Fire Edition, Nights of the Dreams, Pac-Man, Pac-Man CE, Pac-Man CE, GX Plus, Peggle, Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark Zero, Pinball FX, Plants vs. Zombies, 
Portal still alive, Prince of Persia, Putty Squad, Rayman 3, HD, Art Types Dimensions. Salmon Max, Beyond Time and Space, Salmon Max, Save the World, Sega Vintage Collection. Alex Kidd and Company, Sega Vintage Collection, Monster World, Sega Vintage Collection, Streets of Rage. Skullgirls, Sonic CD, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Soul Calibur, Soul Calibur 2, South Park, and Stick of Truth. Explosion Man, Super Meat Boy, Supreme Commander 2, Tech and Tag 2, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2, Tron Evolution, Vivid Pinata, Vivid Pinata, Trouble in Paradise, The Witcher 2, Assassin's Creed, King, Wolfenstein 3D, Zuma, and Zuma's Revenge. I don't know why there's two Z's there, but I read it like that. Um, these are all added. These are all Xbox Arcade games, or most of them are. Wow. Okay, well, that's, like, kind of good for me. That, I don't know. Let me load some of the comments here, and let's see what readers of GameSpot have to say. There's 368 comments. Each one represents a significant proportion of readers of the website. All right. Um, okay, you know, um, I'm going to address this. Why not just write a blanket emulator that allows all the 360 games to run properly? This is possible through computer science. Computer scientists can do this. An entirely blanket emulator that properly emulates all parts of the Xbox 360 experience, integrated with a mapping and dynamic comp compilation feature of code that allows optimization using the current CPU and available resources found in an Xbox One. The Xbox 360 is a G5 based CPU, it has multiple cores, I believe three. Nonetheless, um, it's 64-bit. Now, what is the deal with this? This sounds like uh, code optimization title for title, which is a good thing in a lot of ways, but I think a blanket emulator would be just easier to do. It sits in the background. It's part of the operating system. That's what should be done. This is my opinion as somebody who's actually programmed things in the past. I don't remember any programming languages, so please do not hire me for programming. All right. Let's move on to Nintendo exclusive news. We're going to go to Nintendo Life. What I don't like about them is they're based in Europe. However, they are the closest thing that that we have. <laughs> um, there used to be Nintendo World Report, and what Nintendo World Report used to be was Planet GameCube uh, under uh, GameSpy, and um, well, that that's all that's all gone now. And it looks like we're approaching close to... Uh, we're a little over 20 minutes, ain't we? All right. Okay, this this is not how the website is supposed to render you. More on a browser. I'm glad that it's being still developed for Snow Leopard on the Mac, but at the same time... Uh, all right. Um, let's see here. If I just click this, it'll take me all to the news. Give me a time. I hate, I hate time. So, let's see. Okay, Nintendo spent half a billion dollars on research and development this fiscal year. Okay, <laughs> well, good for them. Um, okay, there's a game called 80s Overdrive. And, um, well... I'm not going to read the article. I'm just saying, where is it? It it looks looks like the type of game I would play. It looks like Outrun. But Outrun is already on the 3DS. So, um, I don't know. Um, I'm always up for a new experience, and I do support indie game developers. I, no, I really, really do. Um, I have to always tell them in person or in or the realities of it. You know, it this is the hardest business you're going to go into. These doing YouTube videos or indie videos. That's just the way it is. It's a hard business. All right. Let's see. I'll return to this. Um, I want to see what they have written up on the Hyperkin Pro Cube controller for Wii U. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some uh, Wii U Pro controllers myself, made by Nintendo. 
I also need an N- yes, yes. I'm one of the few people who've actually broke the, the, the Nintendo Wii U gamepad. Okay, I got one button that barely works, and uh, there's something rattling around inside. All right, Road Redemption, which is supposed to be a uh, tribute to Road Rash. Uh, they still say they're doing uh, Wii U development. Uh, when it comes to Wii U, I will buy it. Now let's see here. Keep going. Um, X Cave Three Tower of Destiny. Uh, there's something with this anime girl that they're using in the picture that just like doesn't make any sense to me. Right. Pixel Cross on Wii U. Never heard of it. Pixel Bit. Pixel Cross. I don't know. Let's see here. Mitomo tops iOS chart. And like Batman vs. Superman, it ain't gonna last. Okay. Maldi. Ma- Maldita Castilla? That looks interesting. I'm not going beyond the screenshot. I don't think that looks interesting. Let's, uh, let's keep going here. Okay, I promised three, so we're getting three. Uh, this is a lot better than me um, getting angry. <laughs> Just trying to keep it on topic here. Let's see. They have this thing about how somebody stole Play Fighter 63 and one third sculptures cut. I have that cartridge, and that cartridge is not rare. I've seen, I've seen that junk turn up at thrift stores all the time. Uh, I want to do the downloads for the United States. So we'll get to that also. It's another article I'm opening up. Let's see. Uh, why do they have a review of Star Fox 64? This is Wii U eShop. Huh, all right. I guess it came to the Wii U eShop. Um, I really like the original Star Fox. There's a game. Dream. Dream. Dream Alls? Dream Alls? I don't know. Okay, no more than 1,000 friends in Mitomo. DSi shop shuts down next year. What I hope is that they keep the DSi wear on 3DS. Lovely Planet. I don't know what that is. Infinity Runner, keep on running. Shante, Risky's Revenge on the Wii U. That's pretty cool. Pokemon Snap is on the Wii U Virtual Console. Isn't that on the regular Wii Virtual Console? I think so. Um, I plan on buying... Is it, 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 It's phonetically, it's Pokken Tournament. But I've heard the guy on a, on a movie trailer. I was at the movie theater, uh, Batman vs. Superman, and he said Pokken Tournament. So, which is it? I'm going to go with uh, what he said, because he works for Nintendo. He was doing a Nintendo trailer for the game. It's Pokemon Tournament, or as I like to call it, Tekken 8. I know it's not really Tekken 8, so let's see. Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. Which version is that? The game called um, Alphadia. You know which game I really want to get into is Pure Solar. I bought that the minute it was available for uh, Wii U. We're talking about the canceled bonk, uh, how Tim Stamper has something to do with Waves. Keep going. Here. Let's see. Uh, what do we have here? Aperion Cyberstorm. I don't know anything about it. So it's supposed to be a shoot 'em up, huh? Take a look at that later. Uh, I'm not going to talk about anything about the NX. Okay, Nintendo of Korea lays off 80% of its staff. I have to say, Korea, South Korea, is, um, there were a lot of arcades when I went there, and, um, I don't know how well the Super Famicom did there. Everyone pirates. I know that computer games are huge, huge in South Korea. But they like to play a lot of things on on mobile. Mobile? Mobile. Phones. Okay, here's a weird video. Um, 
If you check my Google Plus, you'll see this. Every level Super Mario Brothers three played simultaneously. Oh, let me uh, let me tangent here. People, stop saying bros. The, the word is an abbreviation for brothers. Can you all say brothers? When you see that word B-R-O or B-R-O-S, okay, B-R-O is an abbreviation for brother. If there's no period at the end and it appears at the end of a sentence, then it actually is the slang word bro. If it has B-R-O-S, and it, it, it doesn't matter if it's at the end or whatever. It means brothers. So please start saying that. Because you know why? You sound like a damn ignoramus when you don't. You sound like somebody who can't speak English. Alright, here's a game. Chromos 4, the two brothers. And it's being delayed. Well, whatever. Um, Alright. That's... Um, that's the second? No, that's the third page. Okay. Um, I want to check something out. There was a... This might be one of the few European computers I buy. Or European <laughs> game systems I buy. Let me see what comes up. Okay. Go to the Wall Street Journal here. Is there a Wikipedia article that came up here? No. Why is the internet so slow? What am I doing to make the internet slow? No! Oh! Oh! This stupid thing crashed on me. How could it crash on me? Oh! That. Oh! You don't even. Uh, never mind. Never mind, folks. It's not part of the show. Um, okay, view the trash for me. No. I gotta, I gotta redo this. I'm just wasting my time. Okay, obviously this computer is not up for this task. I need to use the other computer. Why did it do that? That's, that, that sucks. Alright. This is not... Okay, I'm just... Stop it! Screaming at Firefox and iMovie at the same time. Okay, no, you're done. You're done with you fail. I'm talking to an iMac. <laughs> All right, you're going to sleep. You you made me mad. Oh come on! Give me give me a good article here. I want to talk about the ZX Spectrum handheld. And what I'm hoping is that there's there's some information about it somewhere. Right? <laughs> anyway, while we're waiting for that, Hyperkin Pro Cube Controller for Wii U from Nintendo Life. It's a video I, I absolutely despise. I do not mind having video and um, written articles, but I despise this. Um, I really don't have a problem with Smash Brothers, so I really don't need a GameCube controller for it. Uh, I'm not really sure. Is there any GameCube... I mean, is there any games I need a GameCube controller to play on the Virtual Console? No. Not, not until GameCube games actually come to the Wii U. And when they do, I'll just buy the May Flash adapter. I'm not, I'm not even going to bother so let's see what the downloads are. Chronicles of Teddy. Uh, sounds interesting. Lovely Planet. Pixel Cross. Six hand video poker. You know, that, that might actually occupy me on bad days. The Virtual Console has Mario Super Sluggers. I want to talk about that real quick. Mario Super Sluggers? is in fact part of the Namco Family Stadium series. Now, do you know what that is? Namco Family Stadium series, but that's a whole series of games. We're, um, I think right up to the N64, and then uh, Mario Sluggers, or whatever it's called, is part of that series too. Mario Strikers, on the other hand, is taking over from 
Virtua Striker or Super Striker Soccer or Sega Soccer Slam or something like that. So Nintendo's actually taken over two series. Now, RBI Baseball is part of the Namco Family Stadium series, and Major League Baseball has released RBI Baseball uh, 14 and RBI Baseball 15 as part of also the Family Stadium series. I have I RBI 14 myself. I thought I would just bring that up. It's pretty interesting, and yes, I'm so sorry you have to listen to this far into the podcast to get some video game stuff like that. Um, I have owned Family Stadium for N64. It is not as fun as plain old RBI on NES. All right, let's see what else. Uh, those are temporary discounts. Justice Chronicles uh, from Kem- Kemco of all companies. I'll check that out. And, um, well, that's about it. Kind of a pathetic week. Okay, let's see here. Official clone. Oh, I misunderstood. Um, all right. I'm just going to go ahead and... Let's see here. I don't have much information. So, one of the few European, I have a, I have a, um, I have a Spectrum. I have a, I have a Sinclair Spectrum uh, with a cassette tape drive and everything. It's in my garage. Spectrum is one of the few Euro- European computers I would consider. While I do understand its color palette limitation and everything, it came down to either that or an Amstrad CPC, 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 CPC one twenty eight. I chose the uh, Spectrum. Let me see what model. I'm, I can't go to the garage because I'm using a wired microphone. So let me see. Let me see here. Um, I have absolutely no idea. I don't have any of these interfaces yet. I've been meaning about not the micro drive. I'm not going to buy the micro drive. But I need the I need a Kempston joystick interface. I need the interface one and two. I don't need the printer. I'm not printing anything. Yet. All right. Let's see here. I have the. Oh, oh, I have the... That's it. That's it. I have the ZX Spectrum Plus 2A. That's the one I have. Or I have the Plus 3. Um, no, no. I have the Plus 2A because I don't have the floppy disk. And, um... I did have a monitor for it, but that got broken. I had a lot of... I actually have a PAL PS2. To show you the power of the PS2. I was using it to play PAL PS1 and PS2 games. And... There you go. I, I don't know. I played um, the European versions of PES on um, PS2. What, what excellent games, even on the M64. Um, the Konami Soccer Series has been just just one one very beautiful series. So I've stuck, I've stuck to gaming news here. This is all recent stuff. Like I said, virtual reality is going to be a failure because a person has to wear it. Someone like me, I can't see 3D. I cannot see 3D in a 3D movie. I cannot see 3D on a 3DS. The only kind of 3D I can see is, you know, polygonal rendering. Like Reboot. Reboot, to me, my brain says is 3D. The cartoon Reboot. Don't go rebooting your computers. Well, I guess sometimes you need to. I'm, I'm sure there's other games and there's new releases and stuff like that. I just don't have that kind of information in front of me because, I mean, I go to Nintendo Life or my Nintendo News or get my Nintendo Force or my pure Nintendo magazines, I can read that kind of information. I don't have that kind of thing for Xbox 360. That's the power of a magazine in the video game and computing world. It was really upsetting when Macworld uh, this is a first world problem. It's not like I'm not going to be able to eat anything like that. But it was upsetting when Macworld went completely print. I didn't like that. I don't like that. Excuse me. Did I say completely print? I meant completely online. And um, I don't like that. No. No. It's it's really bad to me be, that they did that. Um, and I don't know. I don't know how else to put it like that. So, anyways, as you can tell, it's the end of the podcast. The very last 10 seconds of this. Um, uh, I'm going to obviously put a subtitle or something like that. That states uh, the Patreon website and whatever. So, I hope you enjoyed this. It's the new style of the podcast. It's now going to be part of Derby Beat. 
Uh, grumpy, be grumpy Bear plays. Yeah, I have made a lot of lot of speech flubs. I really am working on. I'm doing my best to try to get Phil um, on on an episode here. Okay, you have my word on that. Phil will be back. We'll be talking about movies and video games and possibly computers. He's got he's got some topics he just wants to address and everything like that. So all your support is appreciated. Oh, well, all right. Well, that's about it. I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a nice day. Good night.